how does a massage therapist recover from a broken thumb? I took you along with me on my journey. I broke my right thumb on the joint right here and uh, it was a pretty bad break and I spoke with a surgeon and I was convinced that I needed surgery but the good news was he was a very conservative surgeon and told me that if I was consistent with wearing the brace that he gave me and the PT, the intensive PT that he prescribed for me, I could avoid surgery. So that is exactly what I did. It made my recovery time quicker because if I had had surgery, I would have been laid up for a lot longer than the three months that I was. I discovered the things that I needed to do to let my thumb heal. When you break a finger or a thumb, you can't work. This is definitely one area of this field that is very unfortunate because there is no way around being out of work when you break a digit. And this is how I got through it. Being sad after I broke my thumb and gave me a lot of time to think and I would sit next to the water figure out what I needed to do and for me it's being around family friends and doing things that are going to make me happy so going to a football game was definitely first on the list We went to training camp for the Buffalo Bills. We took the kids, we had front row seats, and it was the most fun that I have had in a very long time. We are huge Buffalo Bills fans, and our quarterback, Josh Allen, is amazing, and he's so in touch with his fans. He was literally right in front of us throwing footballs to the kids and saying his hellos, feeling that adrenaline of being at a game at the home stadium and seeing crazy fans like this who you just can't help but love. Between my physical therapy sessions, I would do my exercises whenever I could, and sometimes I would sit by the water and do them, and sometimes I would be at home. But the most important thing is that I did exactly what my PT instructed. So in the beginning, I was wearing this brace all the time, unless I was in the bathroom or in the kitchen preparing food, I slept with this. I washed it in the sink every couple of days. Yes, it was a complete pain in the It also braced the joint where I had my fracture and it did expedite the healing process. So it was a love-hate relationship, this brace and I. And I would do my physical therapy three or four times a day, which gave me a break from the brace. And these are the tendon gliding, the key to getting my thumb back to working order. These are micro movements and they're stretches for the tendons and it's a strengthening for the joint where I had what they call a Barton's fracture. In the beginning, it hurt a lot to do this, just to get that full extension. And as
as the weeks went by, it became easier and easier, which means I increased my repetitions and I also had a weight lifting exercise, which I'm using a can of water here because I was only supposed to be using one pound to do this. And this was just for wrist stabilization. For me, I can't meditate by sitting in lotus position or doing yoga, so I try other things. And after thinking about it, I decided that we were going to rescue a dog. Now, we found this guy. He only has three legs. They had to amputate his rear leg due to a car accident, and he was found wandering the streets. And bringing him home was probably the best decision I've made in a long time. He is the friendliest husky shepherd mix that I've ever known. He got along with my Mastiff perfectly. They were fast friends. It's amazing what a dog can do, especially a rescue, when you bring them into your home and they're so grateful. And this husky came from Texas, so he had never seen snow before. And this was his very first hoe, and he absolutely loved it. So I can't wait to take this guy out when we have tons of snow. Huskies just absolutely thrive in that climate. So again, spending time with friends and family was something that became even more important for me when I was healing. And of course, we like to enjoy our wine and the holidays are coming, so we get together every year. Emotional and mental healing is just priceless. As an introvert, I need a lot of downtime, and somebody told me a long time ago that moving water puts off negative ions, which cleanse your body from the inside out, and you leave feeling refreshed and recalibrated. And there's gotta be something to that because it works for me. So this is where I go, and I am fortunate enough to live next to Lake Ontario, which is one of the Great Lakes, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I spend a lot of time next to the water. I utilize it for its freely given gifts. I respect it, and it makes me slow down. It allows me to remember to slow down, and I will always appreciate it. Soon I was able to get back to work. I started slowly with clients that were very understanding that I was getting back into the groove. Soon I was back to work at full capacity, which for me is part-time and it's perfect. My thumb has no pain whatsoever. Winter time is not easy for everybody and I haven't always enjoyed it, but this experience forced me to spend more time outside and back in nature and it really does something for the healing. It's positive and also to fall back in love with the area that I live in. It's very easy to become blind to the beauty that's around you and, and you know what? It's free. It doesn't cost anything so it's not going to stress your financial situation if you're not working. What this experience gave to me is, number one, not to take my health for granted and to fall back in love with massage therapy. So I hope that this experience of mine can possibly help somebody out there who may have found themselves injured and thinking like they can't go back to work, that they're done as a massage therapist. But my biggest piece of advice would be to stop and take the time and think about what it is that really makes you happy, what it is that you want, and definitely do those physical therapy exercises at home. It is so easy to skip them. Do them every day and you will heal. And even if you decide not to go back into massage therapy, that's okay. It's still an experience that taught you something.